Hello, my name is Maryam Shah, a senior research assistant from Precision Medicine Lab, Peshawar, Pakistan. Today, I will talk about high-resolution protein interaction networks for precision medicine, a case for head and neck cancer. Interaction networks are basically a good way to represent different kind of interaction taking place among biological entities or can show us the relation among different biological molecules. In this study, we wanted to identify and study the binding mechanism of head and neck cancer key genes, also to find essential domains involved in vital interaction, ultimately finding out the available drugs against these domains. The databases from where the data have been collected in this study and the methods have been used have shown here. Moreover, string database and cytoscape was used for the construction of interaction networks. In this study, we identified 65 candidate genes for head and squamosal carcinoma and 19 genes for triple negative breast cancer, out of which 5 genes were common. We constructed protein-protein interaction and domain-domain interaction networks for both head and neck squamous cell carcinoma and triple negative breast cancer. In case of head and neck squamous cell carcinoma, we identified top 5 hub proteins TP53, HRAS, EGFR, P10 and PIK3CA. These proteins are also part of the highly connected cluster shown in figure C. We also identified the top hub domains in which notch domain was on the top. Also notch protein domains formed the densely connected cluster in domain domain interaction network shown in figure D. We performed the same network analysis for triple negative breast cancer candidate genes. We identified hub proteins and domains. The hub proteins are also part of the highly connected cluster shown in figure C while none of the hub domain became part of the densely connected cluster. Moreover, we can see that TP53 and EGFR both are the top hubs in head and neck squamous cell carcinoma and triple negative breast cancer protein-protein interaction network. After looking for all the available cancer drugs, we identified that only 7 drugs have been approved for head and neck cancer so far. But still we got 20 out of 31 target therapy drugs that were designed against one of our candidate proteins but approved for some other cancer, most of which were designed against the kinase domains. The summary of this study is, we identified candidate genes for head and neck squamous cell carcinoma and triple negative breast cancer. Only 343 and 191 protein domains in head and neck squamous cell carcinoma and triple negative breast cancer had been reported with somatic mutations in COSMIC database. This study re-emphasized the significance of NOTCH and EGFR proteins in cancer networks. Moreover, this study proposed that 19 out of 20 candidate drugs can be repurposed in head and neck squamous cell carcinoma. These are my references. At the end, I would like to thank my teammates, especially Dr. Faisal Khan, our PI. Thank you so much.